everybody. Uh, today is my 26th birthday and um, I've had a really lovely few days and went on a lovely morning walk and just feeling unbelievably grateful and blessed and just incredibly proud of myself uh, uh, for how far I've come on this journey and um, I just thought it would be perhaps useful to discuss how um, like I've changed the narrative of my birthday around. So for me, my birthdays have always been a really difficult day. Again, when, when everything hit the fan last year and I um, lost a lot of my self-confidence and, and belief in myself, I came to realize that I actually had never had that self-confidence and belief in the first place. It was all sort of a uh, false, false sense of worth that I had cr created from the circumstances that I was living in. So I was looking at the circumstances, I was looking at the people that I was surrounded by, and from that I was taking all of my self-worth, all of my um, self-confidence, because I would go, well, of course I must be like that, because um, X, Y, and Z is occurring in my life. And when everything fell apart, I realised that I didn't have any of that within me. And that was something that I had to completely rebuild. And part of that rebuilding process was shedding a lot of limita limiting beliefs um, and shedding the blocks that I'd created within myself um, to say that I wasn't worthy and I wasn't confident and that um, all these kind of things. And obviously during last year, I had another birthday and it brought up a lot of um, these feelings. And uh, for this birthday, I could feel those feelings ar arising again um, because they're all just thoughts, right? The thoughts happen and then we tend to get a sensation in our chest, but those two aren't necessarily linked. Um, and if we sit with the sensation, you can feel that it's got nothing to do with the thoughts because the thoughts will change, but the sensation remains. And you've just got to like feel that sensation out to its end. So I was starting to get some thoughts around my birthday, similar old patterns of beliefs coming up and a certain level of anxiety within me. And basically, um, I really struggled a lot with believing that I was a nice person growing up and believing that I was um, liked and and maybe popular would be a better word. I didn't ever feel that growing up. And I really struggled a lot um, in my friendships with people because I think I was looking to them a lot to give this, this um, to give me like love and, and um, to give me this feeling that I was a nice person. So I was asking my friends to, to help me feel like I was a nice person rather than, just deciding that I was a nice person, you know, and it's silly. Um, but my birthdays were the, these huge days for me was gonna prove to me about my belief because it was like, if I get so many amount of people messaging me happy birthday, or if I get so many people coming to my party and, and X, Y, and Z, and, and I make this really big deal out of it and I would get really upset if people couldn't turn up to things and, people cancelled last minute at minute and honestly it happened a lot actually like people would just cancel last minute to my birthdays like for my 18th birthday I invited I had a small dinner party at my house for like 15 16 people and eight people uh, just didn't show up and only one of them messaged me to say that they weren't coming so it was all very very difficult for me and these just these incidences just kept reaffirming this belief I had that I wasn't nice and I wasn't deserving of friends and and all these kind of things and obviously over this past year where I've had to sort of really like undo so many things and um and keep resting back in oneness keep resting back in in truth and in I am and um, on Sunday, for example, I went out for brunch and again, people couldn't make it and I could feel these same patterns of behaviour coming up about, oh my God, like I'm just, nobody likes me, blah, blah, blah. But firstly, it's a mistake to put my sense of self-worth into other people, other people who are also just living their lives, who've also got busy things on, who also have their own set of limiting beliefs um, at work. And so... 
um, after after the initial sort of upset of people saying they weren't going to come, I was able to uh, just be thankful and just grateful and, and hold nothing against them for not coming and, and recognising that them not coming didn't actually mean anything about me, didn't mean anything about uh, me not being nice or whatever. And in, in fact, in the end, um, three of my really closest friends ended up coming to this brunch. And I thought that was just perfect. It was so perfect how that worked out. And we really had a lovely time. And we stayed there, we stayed chatting for like two or three hours. And um, then we spent a bit more time walking around town and it was just so lovely. And I came home and I was exhausted. And I could tell that it was just like this massive healing moment. And I cried. Not, and for the first time, I didn't cry because I was sad and I um, felt like my birthday wasn't going well. I cried because I was so grateful. Um, I'm so grateful to have met so many wonderful people now and to have these really wonderful friends that um, love me and, and I love them. And, and it's just something that I just really um, struggled with for a lot. And a lot of my friendships have really been repaired through all of this and I feel so unbelievably grateful like I said like it's just wonderful to finally have after all these years like what I wanted I just wanted really solid friends that I could call up and go let's go do this and they'd go yeah let's do it and that came and turned up and showed up for me in that way and I think it just goes to show that when you do do the healing work and when you do let go of these beliefs and you literally just see your thoughts as thoughts, like they're just not true. And that they're the whole reason why you perceive life badly. Like an event is completely neutral. So it's completely neutral that my friend, one of my friends couldn't come to the brunch because um, of a work shift. That That's a completely neutral event. Me thinking that that's, proving that I'm a not a nice person is my thought and it's my belief and it's just it's not truth you can't quantifiably in any way say that that's truth it's just a perception and um and just being able to let that go and being able to just witness witness the nonsense that your ego is just saying to you all the time and seeing the truth behind that is just wonderful and I think it's really important when you do have um, these moments in your life. So for example, it's my birthday and I'm so unbelievably happy and I'm doing what I want and in no way do I feel like I'm having to prove myself or have a certain amount of friends or have a big party. And for me, that's a massive win and it just goes to show how far I've come. If you have these moments in your life right now where you're seeing that and even if it's just the smallest of things, right? Like literally just that you've um, you've got up this morning and for the first time you haven't run straight to the mirror to check out your body and pinch your stomach or something like that. Like that's a win, that's progress, that's great. And we've got to um, celebrate all of those moments because over time, those moments become your norm and become your presence. And it's like I've said, like the direct path, it gets you there. It gets you to that I am presence. And for some people it does unlock them and, and their minds are unlocked. But for others, we have to walk the path a little bit more and we'll be tested and things will come up um, because we're a dense 3D body and there's there's a lot of energy and to displace before we can fully let go of our, our identity to the separate self, to the bodysuit. So just take every little win as a win. And I hope that you can all celebrate with me today, wherever you are. I am just doing lots of little things to treat myself today. I'm not putting any pressure on myself. I'm just sitting in with myself and asking what what is it that I'd like to do? And to be honest, all I'd like to do this evening is just hang out with my mum. I've done some socialising, I've seen some friends, so now it's just time to hang out with my bestest friend in the whole wide world, my mum, and um, just keep resting in that presence and keep 
um, allowing life to unfold how it is because it's just so unbelievably beautiful and aren't we just so lucky to be recognising this now. Um, sending you all the love as always and wishing you a wonderful, wonderful day.